Welcome to Watonga Public Library's presentation of the June Bug and the Flea, presented by the Watonga Public Library Teenagers of the Cast of Characters, starring as narrator one, Rita, narrator two, Miles. Felix the Flea, Flea, Bristol, Jack the June Bug, Marcus, the Bugville residents, Aunt Anne, Josie, Spider Manny, Luke, Mandy the Moth, Maggie, the Sticky Treaters, Millicent the Millipede, played by Mother Goose, Bailey Beetle, Morgan, Wally the Wasp, Helen, Clyde the, co the Crooning Cockroach, Kinsey, and Bia B, Maya. Without further ado, we present the June Bug and the Flea. That's the June Bug and Felix Fiddling Flea could not have been any more different. Jack was the manager of a store that sold tiny baby buggies for little baby bugs. He worked all the time. Felix was a fun-loving flea who enjoyed playing his fiddle. He goofed off all the time. As you might imagine, Bug Day was a huge holiday in Bugville. All the bugs had the day off from work and school. Hooray! I have a great Bug Day planned. I know the stock, a poodle. I plan to burrow into his fur for the day. I'll go wherever the poodle goes. It'll be a vacation. Hey, what do you have planned, Jack? Bug day is a big waste of time. I'm going to the store. I plan to spend the day polishing up the bug baby buggies. On bug day, as promised, Jack headed off to work. He held his briefcase with one leg and walked with his other five legs. Everyone else out having a fun time. Happy bug day, Jack. I'm so excited. I'm going to a picnic today with 3,000 of my closest relatives. I'll see Aunt Bella and Aunt Rose and Aunt Tina and Aunt Agnes. Have a nice day, Aunt Anne. I'm late for work. Hi, Jack. I just love Bug Day. I'm going to spend the entire day surfing the web. What do you have planned, Jack? Isn't it obvious? I'm going to work. There are bug baby buggies that need to be polished. Hi, Jack. That is this pretty red shuttle in Mrs. Perrinkle's closet. I've been eyeing it for months. Today, I'm going to eat it. Happy Bug Day, Jack. I have work to do. Bug Day, bah humbug. bug was another popular holiday in Bugville. All the bugs went from house to house saying, Sticky treat! They collected melted gooey candy. Which was their favorite kind, of course. I have a big bag full of melted candies. I kept it out in the sun all day long. I've melted chocolate and melted caramel and melted nougat. Bugoween is my favorite holiday. I just love handing out candy. I love to see the happy looks on the faces of all those cute little bugs. Bugoween is a ridiculous holiday. If young bugs wanted melted candy, they should work hard and earn money to buy it for themselves. When I was a boy, I got up every morning at six. I stood up on my own six legs and I went to work on an ant farm. The job paid one penny an hour. And I didn't waste that money on candy either. No, not in my day. I saved those pennies. They can really add up. 100 pennies equals a dollar. What? One dollar, big woo. If I need a dollar, I just borrow it from you. No.
On Buckaween, Jack's doorbell rang. He opened it up and saw three sticky treaters. Sticky treat, sticky treat, sticky treat. Go away, Bugs. I have nothing here for you. Don't you like my costume? Sir, I'm a millipede. I'm dressed up as a centipede. Don't you think that's cool? It's very inventive. Now run along. Hey, mister, do you have anything in your house? Do you maybe have just a half-empty jar of peanut butter that we could crawl around in? I said I have nothing here for you. Now shoot, Bugs. Shoot. Well, I ought to. I have half a mind, too. If if this wasn't Bugaween, I'd... I'd I'd show him. During autumn, Bugville's event of the season was the Big Bug Hoedown. It was held in a cornfield right behind the Jack, Jack the June Bug's house. <gasps> Felix the Flea played his fiddle. Clyde the crooning cockroach sang songs. All the bugs from Bugville danced and carried on. The Big Bug Hoedown always lasted late into the night. Once I loved a little mosquito. She was my red, red rose. She had dainty little feet, oh, and a stinger on her nose. Quiet down. Stop making so much noise. Some of us have work to go into in the morning. The residents of Bugville ignored Jack. Felix kept playing his fiddle. Clyde just kept crooning. The bugs kept right on dancing the bitter bug under the big autumn moon. Once I loved a little earthworm, she played the tambourine. She could dance to the jitterbug and dance and twist like a dancing queen. Stop that racket. This is my last warning. If I have to come out again, I'm bringing my bug spray. Come on, Jack Penny. You've got to learn to enjoy yourself. How about dancing with me? I think you'll find dancing is fun, honey. Now, it so happened that Bee and Pea was the most popular bee in the whole hive. She was smart and funny and as pretty as a bee could be. Jack the Junebug could not resist. He agreed to dance with Bea Bee. To his surprise, he really enjoyed himself. I can't believe it. Clyde is a great singer. Felix plays the fiddle so well. I just can't help myself. It makes my six little legs want to move. I'm one bad boogieing bug. I'm having fun. I'm having fun. By the way, Bea Bee, you look beautiful. You're not too bad yourself, honey. Moral of the story? All work and no play makes Jack a dull bug. The end. Hooray! Hooray! Thank you for joining us. All bugs, take a bow. All right.